versatility of the Joker 1600 and how easy it is to move from different optical devices and into a light bank. So what I have in front of me now is a classic Joker 1600. It's got the standard classic beamer on it with parabolic reflector, just like your 2, 4, and 800. This takes lenses, uh, just like our other fixtures. And if you wanted to go for an easy application of a light bank setup, you would just take a 9-inch speed ring, and you drop it in its ears just like a, uh, a barn door would drop in. Now, while this may be easy, light bank goes here, uh, the problem with it is that you're blasting light basically into a piece of diffusion. The more efficient way to do things is to not use the 9-inch ring and to remove the beamer itself. You do that by just loosening the thumb screw on top, and you can see that the beamer just slides off to where we have a bare bulb situation in front of us. Set this down here. The next step is to actually take one of the beakers that comes in your kit. Uh, this is the frosted beaker. We also have a clear one. And you'll notice there's a, uh, a little four millimeter flathead screw here. I just happen to have a flathead screwdriver in my pocket. And you simply loosen this up, one screw, you slide the beaker on. Now you have full UV protection should anything happen, nice and protected. And uh, tighten down the screw. Now what you can do is you can actually use the same speed ring that you use for your 200, 400, and your 800. We call it a bug speed ring. You can see it's got a nice thin throat here. And that slides all the way down on the base of the fixture. Once you tighten this all the way down, now your light bank starts way back here. So the center of your lamp is actually in the center of your light bank. What this is going to do is it's going to take, if you want to use a large or a medium, uh, or even some of the extra large uh, uh, light banks that are offered on the market, maybe even a pancake or, uh, or a 30 inch lantern, uh, you're now more efficient because you're going to fill each corner of the light bank and what that's going to do is it's going to give you no hot spot like the previous version and it's going to give you better wrap. Uh, so you're going to get a much larger source and a much softer source. The next thing I want to show you is this, it, what happens if you have a zoom beamer? Or what happens if you want to switch from the classic to the zoom or even a light bank? Well, it's, it's the same concept. You, you just remove this ring, and then you, you, you remove the, the frosted glass beaker with the same flathead screw, a couple turns here. You're back in your bare bulb situation. Make sure that you tighten that screw down so it doesn't get in the way of installing your zoom beamer. And now you simply take your zoom beamer, which doesn't require lenses, and you install it back on the 1600 bug head. Now I have a 1600 watt solution that does not require lenses, has a focusable system instead of having to, uh, to manually do it. Now let's say that you don't want to remove this and you're in a bind and you want to get a soft source real quick. The option is the 12 inch. Chimera speed ring, but as you can see, it's very large. And then you've got the same problem. You're blasting a bunch of light into a hot spot in the center of maybe a large bank, and you're not filling the corners. So you do have a soft source, but it doesn't wrap the same way. So it's very important that uh, if you're going to use a light bank with the 1600, or for that matter, any of our Joker systems, it's much more efficient. You get much more light if you actually remove the optical system. So this is, the, uh, this is one of the biggest advantages of the entire Joker bug line.